Hi there, welcome to this video. My name is Robert Stacey. I'm a BIM applications engineer for Mana Machine. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Celebri and how the selection basket tool works. Now, uh, the reason I've made this video is because the selection basket is something which initially I found quite difficult to get my head around because it works quite differently to the software uh, and the tools that I worked with in the past. So, uh, what the selection basket is, is effectively a selection mechanism which is effectively going on behind the scenes inside of Celebri. So the best way to um, learn how the selection basket is, is working is to open up the selection basket dialog. Uh, otherwise, we're kind of just guessing or trying to keep track in our heads how this or what the contents of our selection basket are. So uh, I'm going to go up to the top of the screen here. I'm going to add a new view and I'm going to add the uh, the selection basket and I'm going to dock that at the side of the screen there. Now you can see the contents of the selection basket are currently empty. Um, so with my select tool selected up at the top of the screen here, I'm going to make a selection in the model. I'm going to choose uh, this column here. And we can see as soon as I've made that selection, the uh, the object is added to my selection basket. Now if I make another selection and choose, uh, say, this wall here, we can see what's happened is the old contents of the selection basket has been replaced by my new selection. Now if I don't want that to happen, I uh, simply need to hold down control on the keyboard. I'm going to select that column again and we can see this time, uh, rather than uh, the wall being replaced, uh, the column has now been added to the, the selection basket. And I can uh, add other objects to the selection basket uh, using the, the same feature. So if I want to remove objects from the selection basket, it's kind of the same process just in reverse. So I'm going to hold down control on the keyboard again and now I'm going to deselect these objects and we can see that they've now been removed, they're being removed from the selection basket this time. Now if I want to only view the, um, the contents of my selection basket, we have a couple of view options up at the top of the screen here. So the first option effectively resets the view and shows all. Uh, the second view option, that shows us only the contents of our selection basket. Okay, and the option three, that shows us the contents of our selection basket with the rest of the model in a transparent effect behind. Now if I go ahead and press the brown cardboard box here and effectively reset the view, and even though I have effectively reset the view, the, the contents of my selection basket is uh, unaffected and I can go back to the second view mode at any time and view that selection. Now there is a, another aspect to the, the, the selection basket and that's the fact that um, every uh, dialogue window inside of Celebri you'll notice that they have a plus a minus and an equal sign there and what those options allow us to do is to add selections to the uh, selection basket to remove things from the selection basket and to set the current selection as the selection basket. So uh, if I go back to the second view mode here and in the model tree you'll notice that I have a couple of uh, different models federated together inside of this SMC file. So if I select the ground floor ventilation model here and then press the plus we can see that that's been added to the selection basket and I can go ahead and do the same thing with the with the first floor. And similarly I can, re I can remove things from the selection basket by pressing the minus and we can see it's being removed. Now I also have a third option as well, so if I choose the second floor ventilation and then press equals, we can see that that selection is now the full contents of my selection basket. So if I go ahead and reset the, the view again here, we can also access the, the selection basket by right clicking inside of the 3D view, going down to selection basket and you'll see that we've got the same plus minus and equals um, options as well. So. If I press the equal symbol here, set to selection basket, uh, any objects which are currently visible in the view are going to become the contents of my selection basket. So if I press the equal sign there, we can see that the model has been, uh, the whole model has effectively been added to my selection basket. So if I switch between view modes one and view modes two, we can see that they're exactly the same because uh, my whole model is, is effectively in the selection basket there. So uh, I think that covers all aspects of the selection basket. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, please like, share, leave uh, comments and questions in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next video.